Mayor Tiffany Henyard is under fire. Many are alleging corruption. Big news organizations in Chicago are reporting on her. She calls herself the people's mayor and seems to hide behind the fake do-gooder speech. I need your help in making sure that elected officials in your own backyard do what they're supposed to do, which is take care of the people. She has billboards, a high income, expensive vacations, and appears to be misusing taxpayer funds. I wanted to investigate this story myself, so I went to Dalton. While talking with residents, I uncovered a bombshell. She is crooked as the S in Mississippi. I've heard the mayor of Dalton, Illinois, is involved in a scandal, so I came all the way out here to investigate it myself. She's also accused of trying to illegally change a law that would hurt her political opponents. We're heading into the building now to talk to the mayor in person. We'll see if she wants to talk to us. Dalton is a small village on the south side of Chicago. An estimated 15% of families live in poverty within Dalton. The U.S. Census believes this number is above 20%. Going around Dalton, we've seen a lot of businesses shut down. Then you also have across the street, you've got a house that looks torn down and hasn't been lived in in years. Next door, it looks like a great Midwestern starter home that would be great for a family to start living in. Elected in February 2021 with 82% of the vote. Dalton residents, I am reporting for duty. And I am ready to serve as the first female and youngest person to be mayor here in Dalton. Many have suggested that she's really just reporting for duty in her new career that pays her a significant amount of money. Dalton is not in an area in great economical shape. Many are suggesting that she's been using the funds for her own financial benefit. Henyard wears two hats in local government. As the Dalton mayor, she takes home more than $46,000 in base pay, and as the supervisor of Thornton Township, she makes more than $200,000 a year record show. This WGN-TV article alleges she made more than $285,000 last year. In a community with only 21,000 residents, she makes a substantial income, and many believe she's misusing taxpayer funds for personal benefit. Definitely get the vibe that this is a desolate town. It doesn't feel like there's money pouring into this. A lot of the buildings do seem kind of broken down, and there isn't money coming into the city looking to renovate these properties at all. She funneled thousands of dollars in taxpayer money to a private foundation that bears her name. She says the organization helps people with cancer. The officers of the foundation are people who work for the township or the village. As I'll show in a minute, some of the financial records for Dalton haven't been filed. Some of these expenses or foundations don't seem to lead to anything. We are walking all over cancer on our way to Springfield. Make sure you support the cause, support the movement. She spent thousands of taxpayer dollars for a group bicycle ride to Springfield in support of a breast cancer bill, Henyard said in videos taken during the trip, but the bill was never formally filed and state lawmakers weren't in session. So last fall, Henyard did something that would seemingly generate some good publicity, helping establish the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation to help breast cancer patients. And on the very day the charity was chartered, it received a huge donation, $10,000 from the Thornton Township Board, which Henyard presides over. Some are questioning whether her fundraising efforts are actually supporting those in need or if she's just lining her own pockets. Later today, we'll speak with a Dalton resident who makes it very clear what he believes she's doing. During my time in and around Chicago, I heard many stories of corruption in politics throughout the city. If the NFL was just as corrupt, the Bears would finally be playing in January. Speaking of football, maybe Tiffany will be arriving for the big game in Vegas. Some of those charges are for you though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What, what is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. With Vegas, it's usually the woman grilling the man about where he spent his money. Honey, what is this expense on the credit card for Perfect 10 Gentlemen's Club? All right, any other questions? So you're not gonna answer how taxpayer dollars are being spent? That seems I just, odd. I just answered it. What do you mean? I just answered your questions. You said you wouldn't answer about Las Vegas. You asked me a question and I responded. Tiffany is such a Vegas rookie. There's a reason the city is so cash heavy. You can't track the spending when you're paying with cash. What happens in Vegas usually stays in Vegas, except taxpayer theft, apparently. Thankfully, the excellent reporting by WGN News uncovered where the money went. They show township taxpayers also spent money on the Vegas trip on everything from steak dinners to hotels and $3,741 just on Henyard's round trip flight. Keep in mind, she is the mayor of a very small town that does not generate much tax revenue, so every little bit of spending is important.
Officials also traveled to Las Vegas, most recently last May. The reason was reportedly to attend a shopping center conference, though it's unclear if it helped Dalton land any deals. I know a Vegas trip when I see one. This city thrives on people needing an excuse to come to this wild town. Yeah, honey, my boss really needs me at this conference in Vegas next week. It's so annoying, but I guess I'll go. Meanwhile, Hubby is booking tickets to all the shows and reservations at steakhouses. I've lived here long enough to know. I definitely get the sense that when businesses or houses tear down, you don't have the redevelopment process. You don't have people coming in with money looking to build up the community. As you'll see in a minute, we might have needed physical protection while in Dalton, but let's talk about digital protection. I want you to keep your identity safe, which is why I always partner with today's sponsor, Aura. My account receives alerts every day notifying me of all of the ways scammers might be trying to find my passwords or personal information. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you, like where you live. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do. Let Aura handle it for you. With their software, they make it easy for you to have an all-in-one password manager, parental controls, antivirus protection, identity theft insurance, and more. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind, like enjoying videos about AI girlfriends or watching college football. Aura wants you to protect your private information, which is why they're offering my audience a 14-day free trial. Go to Aura.com slash Spencer to get a 14-day free trial. How amazing is that? Burdened with some of the highest property taxes in Cook County, homeowners feel the full brunt of the tax burden since there's little commercial or industrial development in town. Dalton didn't have the feel of a town with a lot of activity, any thriving businesses, or any big economic centers. This is a really small town feel. A lot of the houses are single story, probably priced under $100,000, $150,000. So it feels like you can get a lot of starter home opportunities out here. We're not too far from Chicago, certainly a small town, and everyone seems to know about the mayor. The majority of the homes for sale are under $200,000. However, I noticed something interesting. The houses priced below $200,000 still had a massive property tax bill. This property specifically pays nearly $7,000 a year in property taxes. This small village is in a unique position where it seems that the residents are carrying a majority of the burden for the area's taxes. Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard's taxpayer-funded billboards raise questions. We were only able to see one while on our trip, but it's reported that she had four at one point, mostly used to promote herself. But you may not know that the money for the the billboards is coming out of your pocket, which is raising new questions for Tiffany Henyard, the mayor of Dalton and the Thornton Township supervisor, who has already come under fire for spending public money promoting herself. On the Village of Dalton's transparency page, they appear to be late on posting their budget for the last two years. They haven't posted a financial audit since Tiffany has been mayor, and they have stopped posting monthly financial reports. This administration has cost us a five, $5 million deficit, and now I believe that the mayor is trying to make up that deficit on the backs of the residents. Some allege a complete misappropriation of funds and not posting the financial reports is very similar to Jay Morrison. Last fiscal year through May, the deficit was 2.5 million in our operating account. This year through the report we got, which was September 30th, I pulled that up as you were speaking. So from May through September, there was an additional $4.2 million of deficit. Dalton cannot afford to have a mayor running a budget like this. If she buys a $4 million house in a couple years, we'll know the source of the funds. We were next door yesterday. The guy didn't want to be on camera, but he said, we have to speak to the owner of this business. And so we just came up here now. Uh, it's closed, so we weren't able to go up to the front door, but we did have someone try to get in who had the uh, owner's number. So we called him and then I recorded the call. Being done. I've had the police to break into my place. I mean, literally, you cut the lock, broke in. They've called all of the people I did business with and told them that I no longer can do business in Dalton. After I got home, I realized that Larry is mentioned in this article by WGN TV. The Dalton truck yard owner claims he's been repeatedly harassed for not supporting Mayor Tiffany Henyard. I'm suffering, Gardner said. They destroyed my trucking company. They shut my store down. She wanted me to do or to contribute some money to her campaign. I did it the first time, which was $3,500. When it come around the second time, I didn't do it. So in retaliation, they shut my business down. Where his allegations are concerned, he's not alone. Others in town share similar stories of alleged retaliation for not backing Henyard, a former trustee who was elected mayor in 2021. It's a regular occurrence, Wiedemann said. She uses the police force to intimidate residents. Are you familiar with anyone else in this town having the same experience? Experience? Everybody. Everybody. So this is not just you and a couple other people? She shut down 40 businesses. 40 businesses? Would you have any proof of that or is that is that getting around town? 
It's in the court. I mean, everybody knows. It's no secret. While that sounds bad enough, it's the next stunt she pulled that gained a lot of media attention. Anthony and Natalie, she makes a whopping $224,000 a year. Now Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard wants to cut the salary of her position by nearly $200,000. What a great move for taxpayers, right? Well, the pay cut only happens if someone else gets that job. Tiffany is trying to file an ordinance that says she can make $224,000 in her position, but anyone else will only make $25,000 a year. It, it's maybe the worst attempt to try to dissuade people from running that I've ever seen, and that's a long time. Of course, this ordinance won't pass because it's as ludicrous as anything you'll find in court, but her asking for this gives us a glimpse into how much power she thinks she has. You put a salary to attach to the job, to the officer. So it is a blatant attempt to dissuade other people from running and to allow the current supervisor to maintain the $250,000 or whatever it is, uh, obnoxious salary. While Tiffany may be requesting they reduce the spending, she has not been reducing her spending on security detail. Can the Dalton Police Department afford to have this many officers attached to her detail? We can. We really need them patrolling the streets. While I was there, I never felt uncomfortable or unsafe. It's a small town with very little going on, so I think her security detail that you'll see in a minute is excessive, but I did ask a local for his thoughts. There's crime everywhere. I just try to duck it. I'm too old for crime. I, I try to do right as opposed to wrong. If you would have called me 30 years ago, I probably would have robbed y'all. I don't know exactly what the mayor doing with the money or none of that sh I know she's a black woman in this area, so I know if she's spending some money on some security, is probably spent in a good place. She's a public figure in the community and may be more at risk of danger or crime, so I understand the concept, but let's see how much she was spending. And in the case of Officer Terry Young last May, 303 hours worked over a two-week period. That resulted in a single paycheck of more than $13,000. That dude was making bank. You can buy the most expensive house in Dalton for sale right now for $250,000, and he's pulling 20 grand a month walking around with Tiffany making sure she doesn't say anything to the news reporters. How? How does a person put in a two-week pay period 303 hours? That's impossible. That's impossible. The math pencils out if Tiffany is the one making the rules. If true, over-reporting hours billed to taxpayers would be considered fraud. But when we gave her an opportunity to explain the OT... Mayor, why do you need so many why don't officers, you guys water? You guys, details, what you guys or your security? Water? What did you say, water? Of course, she doesn't need someone working for 300-plus hours every two weeks as security. Even worse, she had numerous other police officers earning thousands per pay period. And we found Dalton credit card statements showing that Henyard takes the detail with her even when she travels out of town, spending thousands of dollars on plane tickets, lodging, and meals for the officers. The irony is she wouldn't need any security detail if she wasn't all over the news about misusing taxpayer funds because I can guarantee no one would recognize her outside of Dalton. Why do you think she needs so much security? Do you, does she have enemies? No, I won't say so much as enemies, but I mean, she she is the mayor, you know what I'm saying? And she's a woman. People hungry, man. It ain't no telling what they'll do. They so might try to snatch the mayor up or something. So as a local, you do think it is justified to have security around here? Absolutely. Especially as a public figure? Absolutely. We were just in Menards. We wanted to go talk to some locals. We walked up to one guy and we asked him what his thoughts on Tiffany Henyard were. And his response indicated that he is very much not a fan of her, was very explicit in his language. Uh, unfortunately, the security came up to us and said, we got to go. I, I guess they got Hawkeyes here. They didn't want us going up and talking to people. But anyway, it sounds like uh, there's some residents that really don't like her. Only on two tonight, outrage in a different south suburban town, Dalton. Hundreds of people lined up to pay tickets they say they never should have gotten. As CBS 2's Jermon Terry explains, they were told to show up in court today or the fines would double. I was able to talk to a few business owners that didn't want to be on camera who stated something similar. I could tell they didn't want to say anything because they would be reprimanded by Tiffany. To those in our town who are looking to the village for help, I have seen you, I have heard you, and I'm ready to work for you. Elizabeth Watson quickly saw an extra zero for a total sum of $500. And if she didn't stand in this line to appear in court? After the 21st, I'll be on $1,000. Both of these residents we spoke with believed that corruption wasn't going on and that they liked her as mayor. While we were looking for business owners to speak with, we drove down the street where the police department was located. Feeling a little frisky, we were about to walk in and ask them about the news reports until this happened. So we parked the car and a big SUV with tinted windows pulls up next to us 
and we started feeling kind of sketch. So, I mean, we were sitting outside the police department. Maybe they thought, I don't know who we were. So we get out and the guy kind of a, a, a little aggressively says like, what are you guys doing? Hey, what are you doing? Wait, wait, what are you doing? We were, uh, we were out here filming a YouTube video. Just in Dalton. Tell me can't film right now. I'm not can't gonna, film. I'm not can't film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah I got it. And so we uh, just mentioned that we wanted to go talk to the police department. He said, no, that's not going to happen. I said, okay, well, we talked for a second. And then I said, well, just so I know, what's your position in town? Because he was kind of speaking like uh, with authority. Yeah, just so just so we know, like, what's your position? Uh, oh, shit. Okay. You ran into the one today. Got it, got it, got it. He said, uh, I'm the chief of police. <laughs> I was like, all right, yep, understood. But his, uh, what your, what was your opinion? It, he kind of seemed like, hey, you trying to intimidate us. Yeah, he's like, that. hey, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't looking into this anymore, yeah. kind of yeah. thing. He tried to like strong arm us. Yeah, uh, at least that was my impression. And he didn't clarify his position right away. Either, no, so it's like, who are you to tell? He us wasn't about wearing this? an outfit. He was wearing like a, look, it looked like a Chicago out, you know, just a Chicago like jersey Letterman jacket. Yeah. Huh. Is he still following? No, no, no. no he's not following. No, us? it looked like he was following us. Yeah. Wow, so business owners are getting harassed is what it sounds like left and right. Residents, business owners, anybody that is doing something other than what she say. I've been, I've been raided 11 times without a search warrant and locked up twice. She participates, she comes out, she does things that mayors didn't do before. We never had that, so when she participates and she does that for the community it's for all of us around here man it really ain't too much going on we need the ice skating rink it's a thousand babies around here with nothing to do so you feel like the ice skating rink would keep them out of crime it's not just the ice skating rink they like basketball everything so a ymca uh, anything recreational that's positive as opposed to them sitting at home playing uh grand theft auto all day and with nothing else to do to channel their little energy you know is a, a a plus i think talking with this resident made me understand why the mayor would want to consider spending money on something like an ice skating rink do you feel like this community needs an ice skating rink or it would be a good use of money we need two ice skating rinks <laughs> you know how many look he is running around here with nothing to do like many of her decisions news reports followed and many within the community felt like using funds on an ice skating rink was not appropriate we're about to introduce to you just ice Rink. Last fall, under Henyard's direction, but without board approval, the village of Dalton hired Minnesota-based Quick Rink Synthetic Ice to build an artificial ice rink for $115,000, which included a $10,000 down payment. Hey y'all! It's your mayor, Tiffany A. Henyard, the people's mayor. We here in the village of Dalton, and we about to get our skate on. Remember, when all five of them trustees said no, look what God did! Ah! But after the board found out and refused to pay the bill, Quick Rink was left with an ice rink collecting dust in a Minnesota warehouse pending payment. The village then hired another company at her direction to supply the materials for a second rink ahead of a grand opening. Chicago gets cold enough where you can spray some water on the ground during the winter months and create an ice skating rink for free and save the $115,000, but it does seem to serve the community, so I'm conflicted on viewing this purchase as being reckless. While her decision to add an ice skating rink may be justified, this next clip is easily my favorite part of this story and something that many found unacceptable. Nobody knows something. Don't nobody know nothing. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Since some of you probably haven't seen the movie, let me give you a quick synopsis of the movie so you can see how hilarious this is. Drug tycoon Nino Brown and his minions have rapidly risen to the top of the New York City narcotics trade. Under Nino's heartless leadership, the drug operation has grown into a multi-million dollar empire. Two police officers who know their way around the streets of Harlem aim to bring Nino and his cohorts down. To do so though, they'll have to play by Nino's rules and go undercover. Knowing that how hilarious is it that she dressed like a drug kingpin for a town hall meeting? Was she dressed up like Nino Brown? I did, yeah, in, in court. Oh no, this wasn't in court, this was at the board meeting. This one me and her head got into it. She said, everybody in town is gonna pay her to do business. And her word was, better have my money. Later, punctuating her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident. <laughs> 
pay me what you owe me. I'm sure Tiffany could say she meant just paying your fair share of taxes, but based on everything I've been reading in my interaction with local business owners, I get the sense that what she really means is hand over some money so my police force stays off your property. Her words was all of the business owners are gonna have to ditch in and help her bring the town back. That was at the beginning. Nobody even knew how corrupt she was. So she's enriching herself off the side outside of her position of authority. Oh, absolutely. Quickly hustled out of the room by armed security. And on Facebook, in videos posted by Henyard herself, we see her being driven around and surrounded by Dalton officers, which got us to wondering, why all the cops? When you're Nino Brown, of course you need security to protect you and get you around town. This lady is the tax assessor and recently had the keys to her office changed. She believes it's because she's been critical of Tiffany spending. If you are a plant and you come to get information, then they'll start sending the inspectors and the police down and they'll harass them every day. So everybody is scared to talk. And now I will be known as the people's mayor. She'd also like to be known by something else. She accepts the community service award saying, I am Martin Luther King, I am Rosa Parks, and I am Harriet Tubman. Now the sponsor of that show and the Park District are calling it an act of revenge by the mayor in Dalton, Tiffany Henyard. Revenge seems like a common word throughout the community. There seems to be a divide between those who are part of her payroll and the business owners she's become enemies with. Saying that the show would be shut down, but if I move my event to her location on Greenwood, that I would be fine. Did you take that as a threat? Yes. He said he's been using the same location for eight years, but Tiffany demanded he change locations to her event. My interpretation is that she's on a little bit of a power trip. Man convicted of obtaining money by threat from strip club in Chicago suburb. I want you to look for the similarities in this case in Tiffany Henyard's actions. Kellogg and Corey Johnson of Dalton, Illinois are cousins whose relatives served in high-ranking positions in Harvey government. From 2003 to 2018, they conspired to regularly demand and collect payments from a Harvey strip club based on threats that the city of Harvey would potentially interfere with the club's operations if the payments were not made. In exchange for the payments, the business was allowed to continue to operate even though they knew the acts of pay to play were occurring on site. This little scheme was generating $3,000 every other week for these two. Ironically, this situation is a triple entendre as every party was eventually screwed. Former city of Chicago alderman convicted on federal racketeering bribery and extortion charges. Around the same time as the pay to play scandal, this news story broke of corruption in a high ranking position within Chicago's government. What's going on in Chicago, guys? She posted this on her Facebook account the other day about a $1 million giveaway. I think the people of Dalton would rather just have that money go to the police department to reduce crime. She wasn't at the other office, so I thought maybe she's at the Thornton Township where she's a supervisor. We pulled up here. She's got her sign right here. There's a car parked here. For her safety, I'm not gonna show the car, but it's definitely something that starts at $100,000. So we think she might be in here. We're gonna head inside. Good afternoon. Hello there. We are from out of town. We're coming in to uh, see if we would get a quick chat with Tiffany. We're doing a uh, kind of a documentary on the area. There's been a lot of news stories about her. We're trying to possibly get the fair side, the other side. Not gonna we, happen, bro. we think it'd be really good for her. Not gonna happen. Is she no, not here today? No comments allowed in the building. That's fine. You got any opinion on it? Yeah. No. Stonewall. <laughs> We came out here to the city of Dalton and Thornton Township. We tried to get her side of the story, but right now I'm believing the business owners who feel like there is a lot of corruption. So I was hoping to get both sides, but it seems like there's only one side to tell right now until we get her on camera. Thank you so much for watching.